Hi guys! Um, so today I wanted to talk about bottom watering and how I water my plants. I chose to use the bottom watering method just because I don't want to get fungus mats or gnats and um, I learned that using this technique you're less likely to be attracting fungus gnats. So this is just another way of preventing to make sure that I'm not attracting any potential breeding grounds or any fungus gnats in my little jungle that I have going on here. So when you're watering on the top, like when you just like, you know, take a pot and just water it this way, um, you're not actually watering the roots, which is what you want to water. And with bottom watering, what's happening is so you're putting like a tray of water underneath your pot, making sure that it has holes at the bottom and the soil will actually soak up the water from the bottom. And so that that will actually help, you know, the roots actually get the water that they need. And plants generally only will drink as much as they need to. When you are checking for to make sure that your plant needs to be watered, is putting your finger in the soil at least like two inches into the soil and seeing if it's dry. If it's dry, then go ahead and water them. If it's not, then you don't gotta worry about it. I usually water mine maybe like, depending on what type of plant it is, of course. Um, maybe like a week and a half to two weeks. Um, some plants they don't need it for like a month and it also depends on the um, weather. So like my room gets pretty hot so I do like to water at least like maybe once a week if they need it. If not then you know I don't really have to worry about it. But um, during like the summer months you could probably go like a month, month and a half for some plants um, depending on what they are. And so what I like to do is just kind of fill up this tray and um, with any plants that need to be watered. And that way they can all just kind of sit together and be happy and get some water in them. And ooh, bulgy. So Plants like this poltos, it's really dry. You can so tell by um, the droopiness of the leaves, for sure. Now, this one, it doesn't have a, sorry, this one doesn't have a hole, so I would have to top water it in this case. Um, I will probably change it out just because I don't want to risk root rot. Now this Clathea is still pretty, um, it's not moist, but it's a little drier than I would like it to be and I'm sure what it would like to be. So I'm just going to squeeze this in there. You also want to make sure that if any of these plants have, you know, um, an infection of some type, you don't want to do this. You want to water it separately if it needs to because you don't want it to get on any of your other plants, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this and just pour the water in. I've been running around all day picking these flowers for you I swear you don't appreciate all the things I'm doing for you And I've been running around all day picking these flowers for you Oh yeah I swear you don't appreciate me There really ain't that much to say Cause baby I ain't got room for a broken heart Had to throw it out, no use in broken parts Had it working over time until we broke apart